Now listen to Afiba's husband, this fair man. He's the husband of Afiba, the Selene's friend that went to meet with Andrew. Listen, he was even insinuating that those chats, that one million chats we saw, that it might be Andrew that chatted himself, that other Andrew is a psychopath, he can do anything. The man is such a lovely husband. I don't know who would have led, but I, I'm still asking what made the girl go to like, come to Nigeria now. I don't still understand. Please let's hear from the man. Hello, good evening. How Please, are you? Are you what's the Ghanaian? Are you the woman's husband? Yes, I'm a famous husband, and I'm not Ghanaian actually. Okay. Um, I live in Bunny, and uh, yeah, we've been on uh, this case since 30 days. And uh, we don't want to speak about the system in Nigeria, but I want to say some truths that no one uh, knows. Um, the person who asked me to get 2 million naira, um, or like send 2 million naira to him, was Darlington, which is the boyfriend of Blessing. And Blessing is the friend of Afiba in Selin. And he was always calling me twice or thrice a day, asking me not to mention his name into all of this. So why did he ask me for that? Uh, I'm very sure he has very good connections. I don't know if he's a politician. I don't know his family name, but I can get to all these details. Um, I, I was pressured a lot to send this amount so he can send the squad to the uh, to, uh, to ABBA or whatever it is, and they can take custody of Andrew. Because the ABBA police, obviously, they're just ridiculous. I've been calling them, speaking to them, trying to do my best. And they tell me, oh, you know what? Uh, Selin might be playing pranks on us. And uh, she just came on Snapchat. And none of that is true. None of that is true. She has never been online. And none of that is true. So they were even favoring Andrew all this time. They were, they were, they were with him all the time. He had his phone in the cell. And, and this is really ridiculous. No police on this planet would ever do such a ridiculous thing. None of the police would ever do this. He had his phone in the cell. He was well fed. He was well groomed. He was well dressed. And he was doing whatever he wants. And he was watching all the allegations against him. And he was creating a compelling story to the public so he can flee from it. That's why I'm saying all of this is a lie. Andrew has created a, a scenario in his head. He's a psychopath. The way he laid the ladies, the way he laid my wife. I know how my wife were, uh, sleeps, actually. This is an abnormal. He, she's not lying normally. She's not yeah. lying normally. Yeah. Why is her breast covered with the wig? This is really uh, on purpose. It's scripted. It's scripted. It's like a movie. Uh, uh, one matter of fact, I just want to bring this up. You know these mermaids in movies, they cover their boobs with some um, a hair, with hair extensions. And so this is what psychopaths do. Um, I've read a lot of books about the, 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 these kind of people and what can go through their minds. They are smarter than the average people, and a lot of scenarios can go through their minds, and they can really be covering up everything. Why did he? Why is the nakedness of the ladies not showing in the video? Neither of them. The body is perfectly positioned that it covers Selin's body and it covers her body too, which means he knows he said he is sending this video to the public, and he knows that this video is if it's published on Facebook or Instagram, it would be taken down because of nudity. So. He covered these things, so this would always be on social media. It would never take it, be taken down. These are not only assumptions you're making. The, the very first assumptions we made since day one were all right. 95% of the assumptions we made about Andrew since day one, myself and um, Selin's boyfriend, were, were 90% right. We are not saying we are smart. We are not saying we are investigators. But we just think logic and we want to say the truth. So what has been happening now, there's a lot of dragging. There's a lot of uh, delaying in times. There's a lot of non-taking actions. This Darlington and this Blessing has to be t uh, uh, questioned. Why did Blessing flee from um, Port Harcourt to Abuja when the police asked her to come and, and give her statement? Why did she flee there when, uh, when Andrew was in custody on the 7th of May? Oh, no, on the 8th of May, I'm sorry. He was held on the 8th of May. The police was on, uh, uh, outside of his house. And they, they stood up about, about like eight hours trying to enter from the, the, the building from the top. And he said, if you enter, if you break the door on me, I will shoot myself. Why would you want to shoot yourself if you don't know that you did something so bad that would take you 50 years in prison to recover from it? Why is the public not asking all these questions? Why is the public not asking all these questions? We have to wake up. This is a full story. It's a made up story. This guy is a criminal. He's been doing this for a lot of ladies and he's been covering up. All his neighbors have to be questioned. All his neighbors. The CCTV camera in that state has to be even uh, tracked. There's a CCTV camera in the state uh, where he's where he like the where he where, the compound he's in. All that needs to be tracked. All that needs to be tracked. Why is his house bulletproof? 
Why is the police not asking all these questions? This guy knows what he's doing very well, and he's been prepared for it. Then the video that my wife sent shows two, uh, two pillows on, on a chair, and it's like that someone was making himself comfortable. And you could see pieces of plastic broken on the ground, which means a str some struggling was happening there. Some struggling was happening there. As the first victim that went to testify in Abuja, I don't want to mention her name, she said immediately she entered his house, she got knocked off. He punched her in the face, he started beating her. Yeah. Exactly. So what we want to know, what we, what we want to uh, point at is, um, since, since that, Andrew, I want to bring two things before I, I close this call. Two things. First, if that Andrew is saying that they left his house, who was viewing my messages sent to my wife? Who was blue ticking me? Blue ticking means viewed the message, read yeah, the message. Really, yeah. I was sending my wife messages. He was viewing the messages and he was never replying. He was never replying the messages. And that was until he was arrested on the 8th of May, that guy stopped viewing the messages. The day he was arrested, she went offline forever. He was the one checking everything. He was pl playing. It, he was trying to create their phone. a compensation. Yes, he had their phones. That's why he I had their phones. Question. And I can, I can, I can, I can, I can, I tell you that when the police were saying they found the phones in Oweri, he, maybe he locked them up, went to another location. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? But obviously, it is very obvious that he has their exactly. phones with him, and then exactly. he tries to see what is going on, who is trying to reach out, what he's, he's trying to monitor. That guy is a psycho. He can sit down to calculate anything. To I'm an engineer. I'm an engineer, and I can tell you two things from from all this case. Uh, it doesn't matter. First, you can change your IP address without going to another location. You can change your location of where I am now. I could re literally put myself in America. Second thing, this car is an E2020 uh, 220 Mercedes Benz 2017. That car doesn't have the technology, which is called MBUX of Mercedes, which has facial recognition. That car doesn't have it. It's it's the low, it's the low um, model of Mercedes. It's not the S class. It's the S class and the Maybach that has these options. It doesn't have it. And these these people lied. They said, oh, they had to put him in the seat so that the car would recognize him. It's a I'm sorry to say, it, it's a lie. It's a complete lie. I'm telling you this. This technology doesn't exist in 2017 in Mercedes cars, especially this model. We believe you. We believe you. Go uh, going back to the other thing um going back to the uh, like like um excuse me um so so he had their phones he was creating a compelling story to the public because he knew that he what he has done all right so we want to know the dates that he sent these messages that he sent the his messages and he said oh when can you come to this and then uh there's the, yeah. that one million yeah. night or whatever we want to see the dates because he could have used their phones, chatted himself from Selin's phone, replied the message, chatted himself again, replied the message. I agree if with you. Look at the time. Possible. I, I agree with you. Look at the times. These minutes, it's just in the same minute he's replying. And those are not replies of Selin. I spoke to her family, I spoke to her boyfriend. She doesn't write, reply that way. That's an English reply from an English man. That's not a Nigerian lady's reply. Okay. Nigerian ladies reply a certain way. This is a clearly english reply he was the person doing all this and i, yes, I, and I I'm, I, let's let yeah. him bring it up let him bring it up, let him bring it up. I, i'm very sure that a lot of things we don't know about andrew but i'm i can really i can really assure you he wants us to see what he wants us to see